Hi, I'm Frank Spado, and you're watching Cheek Out Loud. Um, we'll talk about you being an actor later. Kind of yeah, some of it'll it, be short. It'll be okay. <laughs> we'll leave it to the end then. No, um, before you got into comedy, yeah, you did photography. Yeah. First question: Canon or Nikon? Canon. Okay. okay thank um, you. Me yeah, too. You know right. what? I. It's weird because I actually have a Nikon right now. Yeah. Because it it was the best sort of mid range when well, I was they're looking both good for. Cameras, they're right? both great, but if you ask me. I'm a Canon guy. I love Canon. The zoom lenses are so quick. Oh, yeah. Uh, the lenses are amazing. Nikon's great, too. But, yeah. uh, you know, if Nikon wants to uh, sponsor me and send me a bunch of equipment, I won't be opposed yeah. to that. Do you but, still do photography? You know, a little. When it's, uh, you know, everything's on phones now. That's the crazy thing. But and uh, some of them are good. Some of them are really They're good. They still won't match a it DSLR won't. yet. No, and you can't. You know, what's great about cameras is you can play with the shutter speeds and you can mm -hmm. play with the aperture so you can blur out the background. That's right. And yeah. anyone who went to, you know, like me that's done photography, understands. So have all I. That. I. Yeah, and you've done yeah. it, right? So right. if I want this bottle to look nice and I don't want in the, it's a nice background, but I want to blur it out. Yeah. Funny thing is, phones are starting to do that, blurring yeah. out backgrounds and things. So that's, the phones are getting there. But there's still something about composing yeah. with the lens. My son started uh, go-karting and I brought the big lens out and it was oh, shit. just, it brought me back. It, yeah. was, it was great. It was great. Did you like it? What kind of photography were you doing before you got into comedy? And it was funny because when I told my dad I wasn't going to university anymore because I wanted to, I figured out I wanted to do photography. You think he'd be happy? Like, hey, he picked something he likes to do. He's like, you got to stay. I, I, who, how am I going to brag about you being in university anymore? My, <laughs> my one kid's in university, but. Um, he thought I was going to shoot weddings, which that that's not what I wanted to do. I, I've done that. Yeah, that it's, can be it's a, a horror story and a grind. It's. I think at first it's great and you get to meet great people, but it becomes that repetitive thing. Oh, yeah. I got into commercial. I was shooting yeah, with okay. great guys like Dan Lim and uh, Robert Lear and Shin Shigino in Toronto. Ro yeah. Andreas Trasmandor, food, clothing. We used to shoot shoot tip top tailors back in the day oh, geez. so I was yeah. an assistant for a while and uh, and, and that's the ironic weird thing is, is that's how I got into comedy was I kept getting hired because I knew my stuff I knew yeah. how to light things and I, I, I was good at that and I was a big guy so I could carry all the bags <laughs> uh, but then I started you know our, even the art directors are like, oh, Frank, we're so glad you can make it on this trip because we requested you. Like, we wanted yeah. it because you're fun. You're fun to be with. You know, we'd yeah. be shooting in Jamaica or Bahamas for the Bay and stuff. And David's Bridal in the States. And and and, got, and with Tip Top Taylor's um, Dan Ellsbury uh, model and, and, and Patrick Johnson, they were great guys. And, and uh, I still remember them, even Ricardo. And they were like, why don't you do stand up? Like, you've got funny stories. I'm like, he's going to want to hear about me and my mom and dad. It's, ah, no one cares about me. Like, no, no, man, we got friends in, in New York and their comics and your stories are like, they're real and they're funny. Yeah. So I, I, I met another art director from, uh, in Toronto when we were shooting, um, Scott McMahon actually. And, uh, he, uh, lives in Ottawa now, he said, oh, you, you know, you, I heard you, you're pretty funny, why don't you call the Laugh Resort, and he gave me the number, and he was great, he showed up, helped, you know, kind of was there, you know, like, pat me on the back, and I had a great first night, I didn't know what I did, Yeah, I was nervous as I got up, I heard a couple of laughs in my brain, I was so nervous, uh, the five minutes went by like this, oh, yeah. you know, amateur yeah. night, um, and he uh, was like, you were great. I'm like, what do you mean? Uh, did I, I, I probably screwed up. And he's like, no, no, you got applause breaks. I'm like, wow, okay. So thank God it went great because I think had it not gone well. You would have dumped it right there. We wouldn't be here right now because yeah, that's yeah. the kind of guy I am. Yeah. I got to taste the success and I'll tell you, you know, like when you get a crowd laughing, oh, there's, nothing there's like no better. And that's what we love. It's, it, yeah. I know it, it, it does something to the ego for sure. But I just love making people feel good. Like you well, do, no, you like it, yeah. you like putting. You feel like a doctor yeah. with like a hundredth of the pay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah you, right? But no, it feels good that you know you're making them laugh and they're feeling good. At, you know, and it's, they come up after and congratulate. And it, it's a great feeling. It's yeah. a, it really is a gift when you when you can do it and it yeah. works out. You know, not anybody can do it. 
It's a tough thing. There's funny people. They, uh, it might not work in stand-up. They're still fun. You know how you meet people and they're hilarious, but you know, it's. A, I think the trick to, to stand-up is um, you got to be a good story. You got to. You know when people say, uh, oh, like they tell you a story and like, ah, you had to be there. Good comics bring you there. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good comics yeah. bring you there. Absolutely. 